Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. So the Ford Raptor is an awesome looking truck. You've got to have a great interior. Also, it cannot be all about the exterior. Remember that this truck have great abilities when it's gonna come to off-road, so you need gadget related to that right there inside. How about that great stuff also for working, some outlets, how about some space? Well, you're gonna discover the interior of the Ford Raptor right here at Car Question. All right, let's open the door of our Ford Raptor. And you're gonna see that's huge inside. And look how wide that door is opening right now. So be careful into tight parking spot. If you're in the city, man, sometime you're gonna pay. So you've got those nice seats, really large. Look at that Raptor logo right here, really nice. You've got some orange right there on the side. It seems like it's offering great lumbar support, but really the seats are so large. So if you're kind of big, just like me, well, you're gonna fit in there, no problem. But still for a performance truck, I would have thought they added some adjustment right here on, this, on the side of the seat. So you've got some mats, really nice Raptor logo right here, but they are kind of hard to clean though. But if you get some mud inside your truck, well, that's gonna be perfect. So the Ford Performance logo is right down there. And yes, you can adjust the pedal right here and it's gonna move forward or further back the brake pedal or the gas pedal. And still, yes, it's an old school brake pedal right here that you're gonna see for the parking brake. So in the door, it's kind of really big and look at how unique the handle is. So if you got big gloves, well, you just grab that and the door's gonna open. Little kind of carbon finish, but not really in some kind of way. And you've got right here all the controls for the window, automated window, and you've got your seat memory. And yes, these are lock or unlock the door feature. Big storage space right there, so you won't lack anything. And I love that little F-150 logo that you're gonna find on the side right here. So let's take place inside, but yes, I need to use the side step. Ooh. Wow, that is huge. So really, if you have a passenger, well, she's gonna be really far from you. <laughs> so as you can see, it's really big. So you've got the, right here, the two display, the RPM with the speed indicator, and you've got the eight inch screen right there in the middle. So let's press, and the engine start stop button is kind of far though. So let's press once, my seat's moving forward, Build for tough and you've got the Raptor logo right here, which is going to appear also mentioning Ford performance. So let's turn on the light though, because I want you to be able to see every command possible. So right there on the side, you've got on or off. This is going to be the button. So if you want to turn on the side light, this is really cool when you're going to go off-roading. You've got the possibility to turn on or off also all the lights in the bed and you've got the brightness adjustment, which is right here also. Command for adjusting the steering wheel is right there on the side. You will have the automated wiper feature right there, automated headlight also that you can use. And you've got that nice magnesium paddle that you can use to shift the gear. And by the way, 10 gear is a lot of, uh, of time that you're gonna hit that pedal. The thing that I'm not sure about is the finish of the steering wheel. It looks really cool right here. Nice material, but kind of plastic though. But with that kind of rubberish feel to it. Still, it's big. It's it's great to hold on to. Remember that you're going to do some off-roading with that truck. So you want in some kind of way to grab something, which is kind of big, I think. So right there in the center, you're going to have the full display and you're gonna be able to change a different menu by pressing through here. So let's start with the first menu with the My View and let's go at the top. You're gonna to have trip one information. You're gonna have fuel economy information and yes, 16.6. Seems kind of high, but really when you've got more than 400 horsepower and more than 500 pound-feet of torque, 
you like power, you like fuel consumption. <laughs> You've got digital speedometer, the engine is formation with a percentage of uh, oil life, the engine hours, the engine idle hours, transmission temperature, and you can even enable the trailer light status. Right now there's no trailer in the back, but still that's a great feature. Raptor status, and when you move next, you've got once again trip one or trip two information, fuel economy, fuel history, compass, and the auto start stop feature. You've got the truck info that you can select any gauge that you want, but as you can see, there's some menu that seems like they're identical as soon as you go through them. You've got the towing status. Uh, this is so called cool with your brake controller, the gain, you've got the, the degrees also, and you've got the traction that you're enabled right now if you're two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. You can enter different trailers. Let's say that you're working and give them some name. You will have the accumulated kilometers that you did with that trailer. And you've got the pro trailer backup assist system, which is not set right now. And even some trailer blind spots. So let's say that you have a long trailer. This is going to be perfect to make sure that there's going to be no car hiding on the side. You've got the off-road status. This is perfect because you want to see how, how well you will handle on, on off-road with all your system. And this is probably right there, my favorite display with the degrees of pitch, of angle, traction, and the power distribution right here. You can go into setting and select a lot of stuff right here, even adjust the sensibility of the different security system right there. So let's move back uh, to a more regular display. And on top, you've got uh, the oil, uh, you've got the temperature, you've got the fuel and with uh, the kilometers left, and you've got the turbo pressure. So remember that this little baby will be able to send 18 PSI inside that engine. So twin turbo power. So right down there on top of PRNDM, you've got right there a display of the road. So let's say that you enable the cruise control and you can adjust the distances with the vehicle in front of you and this is the lane assist system that you can see right now on the left you've got some steering and you can choose from three different steering fields so normal sports and comfort uh, normal is okay sports a little bit hard though comfort is just sluggish so switch to that Let's talk about terrain mode. So as soon as you're gonna enable this one, the sports mode, you're gonna get more reaction of the truck. If you go into weather, this is gonna put the, the truck in 4A for automatic. And this is kind of an all wheel drive system. Mod sand, it will shift in uh, 4I, fixed traction control off. And you've got the beige mode. This is one of my favorite, the reaction. There's even an anti-lag system, man, this can pull hard. And remember, even if you select, let's say the beta mode and it's fixed in 4H, you can go right there and switch it back to 4A or 4.2 and you're gonna see switch in progress and you will still be in beta mode. So this is kind of perfect. Remember that you can lock your differential right here by pressing in the middle but remember this is not able to work in every mode so you need to be probably into 4h or into different mode before you can enable the diff lock and as soon as you're going to see the diff lock which is going to be enabled you will get that little logo way down there hidden near the zero right there with the lights near the battery this is where you're going to see that your differential is locked all right let's try voice command mode Please say a command. 98.1. Tuning to FM 98.1. Not too bad for the voice command, huh? Still, the mode is right there. The phone coming is right here. So you've got a lot of stuff. And I really like those magnesium paddles right here. So let's move a little bit on the right, though. So you've got that sanctuary system that you can use. And this is awesome. This is so fast. Um, you, you have a lot of feature, including Apple CarPlay. So why not go on and plug my phone though to show you. So the phone is hidden right here. You can push that little section right there. And uh, yes, you need to plug your phone. But before that, oh, by the way, I've got the Ford Pass feature that I can use and I'm gonna be able to see my truck and I can even send some commands to the truck. So as soon as you 
make a link, you're going to be able to lock the door, unlock the door. Oh, there you go. We just heard that. Why not uh, unlock them? But still, that's a nice gadget though, but this is not the thing that I'm going to use every day. Uh, perfect though, if you left your key somewhere and you need to get in the truck, but you still need your keys to start the truck though. <laughs> so right there in the middle, you can see that my phone is plugged in right now. So sooner or later, it's going to enable. Oh yeah, I, I simply disable it. So right now with Apple CarPlay, which is back. Um, so it's, it's really kind of cool. You can simply press on the song that you like to listen to. in the back of an old Ford truck. So American country love song. So this is a great, the sound system is really good. You've got that Sony power right there. And uh, let's press on home right here. And let's say that you want to switch to some other apps. You can really do it by just pressing that. And Apple CarPlay is gonna do the link though. So let's press on the home button right here and let's go back to the Ford system. So this is the thing that you're gonna see, but remember you cannot see any more Ford Pass right here. Climate control are right there, phone control. Well, since my phone is plugged in, you've got all the information right here. Apple CarPlay and the different settings that you can choose for the screen. And right now it's showing a little bit darker color because it's late out there and the screen will turn from white to black depending on the, the time of the day. So right there on top, you've got different button. You've got uh, illicit system, you've got traction control, you've got the start and stop feature, the blinkers and the camera. And by the way, with the camera view, you can press and switch different camera view. So let's say that you're gonna go off-roading in some kind of way. So this is perfect for having a 360 degree view for aiding uh, in your parking. And if you're playing swans, when you're gonna be into rock crawling mode, this is gonna be the camera that you're gonna see. This is perfect not to hit any, any rocks. So with this one, a little bit of distortion though, it's not really my favorite one, but it's combining the mirror and the front view camera. Let's go down here. So you will have all the volume, all the, the memories information right there. And way down there, hidden a little bit behind the, the, the nice stick shift of the 10 speed transmission, you've got all the climate controls. So heated seats, you've got AC seats also. So this is great. Your uh, four wheel drive selector, I talked to it a little bit earlier though, but you've got that nice and cool feature, which is a trailer backup system. So let's say that you're not used to do some maneuver, you can turn it on and it's kind of long to enter all the data of your trailer though, but once it's done, you can simply make some nice maneuver while you're gonna be backupping just like a pro. The trailer brake controller is way down there. So you can test it and you can add or remove a little bit of gain though. But right now you can hear the chime telling me that, hey Matt, you don't have any trailer on. So really a big shift in the way, even if you're into gear of the, um, of the climate control though. But right there on the side, you have a plus and minus. So it's still manual mode and the tow feature that you can enable. A thing that I don't like is when you go into drive, See, it falls into M and the truck is gonna hold the first gear. So I will always need to put it back there in D mode. You've got the lane change assist system, which is right here. You've got the cup holders with some LED lighting inside. And yes, you will see some LED lightings that you can simply configure to your own choices. So the key right here and the key, you've got the possibility to open the back panel by pressing twice right there and the remote start. So nice and cool feature. AC 110 volt, 400 watt power outlet and you've got also a 12 volt outlet out here. Why not go for a start? Oh, yeah, forgot to put in the park. So remember, this is an EcoBoost engine with a 3.5 liter six cylinder. Yep, not the same sound, huh? Still, this is really a powerful truck. So let's turn off the truck. So right here, you've got the possibility to put some storage right there. And you've got a little bit of carbon finish right there. Uh, right there on top, this is really nice though. This is some auxiliary switch that you can right there, turn on or off. So this is really feeling like Battlestar Galactica or Star Wars or something. And you've got all there, the components for your alarm system and you've got some lightings and some commands for your sunroof. Home link system is right here and right there in the sun visor. Well, you've got some lights also. 
So not too bad when it comes to that interior. Huh? Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna move that. You've got some huge storage and another 12 volt outlets down there. Oh, I think that I forgot, by the way, in the display, let me start back the truck and put it into, into uh, manual mode or even D mode. So, okay, so if you want to use the paddle shift right now, you can see 10 gears right now. So let's say that I make a lot of, uh, of downshift. Man, it's taking a long time since I got to first gear. Same thing also to go up until 10. So you've got some great paddle shift though, but you know, switching gear is gonna take a long time around here. So let's turn off the lights and put the truck back into park if I don't want it to move. And this is a huge step down. So I'm gonna open the hood also. And by the way, I cannot open the hood with only one hand. Whoop, door lock. Let's unlock it. There you go. Wow, this is a really big. You've got a lot of leg space. I really love the seat. Look how well they're finished right here. And you've got right there in the back also some outlets that you can use. You've got the heated seats, you've got the 12 watt outlets, and this is perfect. So also look at that, a big and huge sunroof. And for the seat, if you want to pull them down, there you go, it's the same fabric also that you're gonna see up in front. I'm gonna pull that down, I'm gonna press right here. And you've got some cup holders that are really small though. Still, don't forget to close that once you're gonna go inside. and. You still got some storage access right here and the mat, which is always hard to clean. In the rear, well, I show you everything in the exterior review of the video. Still, you've got that nice glass window that you can open, the lights in the bed, perfect. So we're gonna open the hood, but guess what? Even if it's aluminum components on the Ford, well, this is really heavy, so let's make a pose. There you go, it's open, but man, this hood is really heavy. So you've got the openings right there for the vents. You've got the big battery right there on the side, the washer fluid. This is a 3.5 liter engine, twin turbo, and this is gonna give you awesome power. But when it's gonna be time to check the oil, man, this is really far. You're gonna need uh, <laughs> some kind of stairs or I don't know, something to help you check this oil or add something inside because Wow, this is kind of really far. So you've got the hair filter right here on the side and that entry, which is really big. But man, is that hood heavy. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so awesome truck, awesome interior. I like the design. How about you guys? So there you go. There's not gonna be any complaints about leg room right there in that truck. And this is the perfect truck to go on and enjoy some beige moguls, some tracks, some dirt, some rock crawling with all your friends right there. What do you think about the interior styling of the Ford Raptor? Feel free to comment that in the section down there below. Don't forget to do a thumbs up on that video and also subscribe to Car Question because next is gonna be the specification and the road handling of that awesome machine. Take care, see you another time.